Welcome to the ACH Automotive channel. Today we are back working on our 2005 Mazda S. This is the car we got for free. I'll put the link in the description up there so you can see the start of this project. Uh, today we are working on changing the emergency brake cable. Uh, in the last video, which I have quite not yet posted because I ran into some uh, editing issues on my computer. Um, so that'll be posted this weekend. So once you see this, you'll see you'll see the other video before that. Um, today we found, you know, when we were doing the rear brakes, we found that the emergency brake cable was pretty worn on the passenger side. So I picked up a brand new Dorman uh, emergency brake cable, part number C661400, and we're going to work on changing that today. I have the car up on uh, ramps on the passenger side. So we'll be able to crawl underneath it. I've got to pull off one of the exhaust shields, um, and then we've got a bunch of bolts to break to get the cable off from underneath the car. And we have to take apart the center console where it comes through into the floor of the car in order to change it. Let's unbox this cable here. You see kind of what it looks like. Can't work with my gloves on. It is very cold out today. So it's a one-piece cable. Grab some snips. Snip this guy so we can see what it looks like. There we go. It's not a very long cable. It goes through the car like this. This comes up through the floor, and then it goes out to each caliper. So it's a, it's a one. You know, it's it's two cables, but it's one piece. So. I don't think it'll be too terribly hard to change. I hope. Car, I'll show you what we got to work with here. <coughs> so we've got to fix this hanger. You can see it is pretty, uh, it's gone. There's nothing left of it. The exhaust itself doesn't look too bad except for the flanges. The flanges look awful. Um, so uh, no leaks at this point from what I could tell. It's going to be hard to show you on camera, but we've got a couple of bolts we're going to pull and it goes along the edge of the fuel tank there and on the other side as well. We have to pull this dust shield off because it goes up into the car right about there. So hopefully the camera picks up on that. Let me grab, let me grab some sockets and a ratchet and see if we get these bolts broken free. Okay, I got all of these bolts out. These are the bolts that hold the cable to the car. They're 12 millimeter six point bolts. A little rusty, not too bad. Got them out with some coil um, and a 3 8 drive ratchet. Um, what we need to do now is I need to take the exhaust shield down that's covering this piece here. There are two bolts and we'll get those out. Then I'll move back to the back half of the car. Uh, there's one more bolt on the driver's side rear that I have to pull out on the control arm that holds the cable up over there. And then it's the two bolts, one on each caliper to disconnect the uh, emergency brake cable from the caliper. Then the emergency brake cable will lay down and we'll have to go into the car and start pulling apart the center console to get to the linkage. Okay, we got these four 10 millimeter bolts off for the dust shield. They're 10 millimeter six point bolts. Use a 3 8 drive ratchet and some coil. And you can see all I did here was pull the I pulled the dust shield down and I slid it back towards the back of the car. There are four studs, one, two, and two on the other side. And then the emergency brake cable goes up through the car right here. And those are probably also 10 millimeter bolts. We're gonna coil those. I'm gonna pull those out and then we'll move to the caliper and that side to get that last those last three bolts out. All right, now we've got we've got all the uh, cables off. Well, the bolts out of the cables underneath the car. What we need to do is get the center console apart. I'm not sure if we've got to take this whole console out or if I can get to the assembly through this piece here. Uh, so we've got to pull this back all the way, and we need to take our shift knob off by turning it. And that will take this piece off and this piece off, and we should be able to get in to the uh, assembly and pull the cable out. It's just it's just pinned in there. All the bolts are off of it. You probably want some trim sticks. There we 
go. That's off. Oops. That's my key. <coughs> Pop this out here. And you just got to work at it. You want some plastic trim stick tools so that you're not damaging your center console. There's roughly three per side, three, three clips per side. Separate. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, hey, look, free money. All right, we got the center console out. Like I said, you got to pull this back. And what I was running into was this lip on the center console that was holding me up. So we've got that piece separated, this piece separated. On the back side here, there are some electrical uh, connections that we'll have to pull out. And then, I don't know if the camera will pick up on it, but back there is where the cables come through the floor of the car. And I might be able to get those without, uh, without too much trouble, without getting this all apart. To get the center console out the rest of the way, you have a cover here with a Phillips head screw on the other side, there's also a cover with a Phillips head screw, and there are there's one here and one here, so you have to pull the seats forward and use your trim stick to get the cover out and pull the screws. Uh, there's also two screws here and two screws here. It's missing the screw here. Um, so we'll pull those screws out, pull that screw out uh, right there. And then there's probably some electrical cables in here, but this, this uh, console should come right out. In addition to the screws I mentioned earlier, there are two, there's a piece of plastic or felt or whatever it is that sits under here. So there's two Phillips head screws there and one back there and one on the opposite side. Also back here, you probably don't need to take this whole center console out. You probably just take off this back access panel, it just pops off. Um, I'm gonna end up continuing to take the console out just because A, it's really gross underneath and B, these cables are, see one of these cables is seized up so I can't really get my hand in there to uh, pull it out. All right, we've got the center console out. Um, again, I think you could probably get away with just taking this back cover off, uh, but this cable, you can see it doesn't, it doesn't move, so I can't get enough tension off of it to get it out of the bracket, and I couldn't get my hand in there, so uh, plus you can see it's kind of dirty, so we'll get the shop back, clean that out, um, and then we will work on getting that cable undone. I may, if I can't get enough slack on this one, I may just cut it and uh, let me see. Oh, maybe I can get it. Maybe I can get it now. There we go. All right, so that's how you pull them out. So there's that one. There's no way I to get my big hands in there. <laughs> All right, so that's disconnected. Now I'm gonna figure out how there we go. There's that one. There's that one. And they should. We may have to go back under the car and pull them out. But that should be that should be it. The plate should be like right about here. So we'll feed the new one up through. We've got the old cable out of the car almost. Uh, I ended up cutting it at the bracket on the old cable. Um, just because we're going to slide this new one into place, pin it all up. And then we'll pull the ramps out and I'll pull each and the tire off individually and pull the rest of the cable off and, and connect the new cable. Uh, that way we're not jacking it up in the air while it's on the ramps. That doesn't, that's not exactly what I want to do. So you can see I did pull the center console out of the car. We'll clean that up as well uh, just because one of the cables was stuck and I couldn't get it through. I couldn't get my hand in there because of this bracket and I couldn't really get it in this way because there's other stuff in the way. So I just ended up pulling the whole center console out of it. Uh, it really wasn't that bad to do um, and it'll give me a chance to clean all the years of debris and stuff out of it. So um, let's close that door.
let's crawl back underneath. I am going to put some never sees on the two studs that come through the bottom of the car and feed that back up into the car. And then we'll just tack each side back up and that'll be it. We got some never sees up there. We're gonna throw the cable over and bolt it in place. Hopefully the camera picks up on that. We have the cable fed through the car, bolted back into place. I'm gonna bolt down uh, the passenger side over here and bolt down driver's side. Then we'll go into the car and reconnect the emergency brake. Right. We have our cable mostly back in place at this point. Um, you can see it's kind of dangling over here and on the other side. I have one more bolt to put in on the other side uh, before I move in on the other side. Um, put a little never seize on these studs, put this heat shield back in place with its 10 millimeter six point bolts. Dab on each stud. Whoever works on the car next will thank you. Or you will thank yourself. Perfect. We'll feed up there. We'll pull that old cable out after. All right, we have our emergency brake cables connected inside the car now. Again, you kind of just follow the same way you took it apart. They just go in. You have to pull them all the way up, turn them, slide them in, and then turn them back. And then these clips just push into place. And then you can put this all back together. The only piece that is left that we have to do is we have to have to pull the ramp out clean up all the tools pull the ramps out and then take each of these wheels off and connect the uh, pull the rest of the old cable out and then pull the emergency brake cable bracket off put the new cable in the bracket and bolt it all back together got the ramp almost out of the way on this side oops I need a bigger socket Pull this tire off. And we're going to change out this last part of the cable on the passenger side here. To finish this piece of the puzzle up. We're going to knock the clip out that's in here. This is a 14 millimeter bolt. We'll pull that out, put the new cable in, clamp it down, and we should be good to go. There we go. Clip is out. <coughs> that bolt aside. There we go. Let's get our clip out there. There's the one half of the old cable. This new guy fit up here. Yeah. Cable in. Piece here, put our bolt back in. 
hold it in place. Clip in. Actually, you know what? We'll snug it down first and then we'll put the clip in. go put our clip back in there we go and hopefully the camera picks up on that but new cable in clipped and clamped in place and we are good to go Last piece we need to do is we need to move over to the driver's side and hook that side of the cable up and put the center console back in. Before we put the center console back in, uh, I'm gonna make sure the emergency brake works, obviously, so we don't uh, go through all of that and then have to take it all apart again. Take our clip out. And it might wiggle out if you, there we go. That one wiggled out. Now this one was stuck in the bracket, so we might have to mess with this a little bit before we take it out. That. Just gonna try and knock that out of the way here. There we go. All right, pop that out of the bracket. There is our old cable. Slide that out of the way. Now we're gonna take this 14 millimeter bolt off here. Oops, I have the wrong socket on here, dummy. Nope, this side's a different size. Cool. 13 fits this size. This side, that's weird. The other side is 14. Actually, yeah. let's bracket it off. Might not, might not have had to take it off on the side since we tapped it out, but we'll pull it off now. Is that? Let's grab our new cable here. get it in the caliper you just pull it up and then slide it over the forks here and it fits into place and then, then we'll put the bracket back on there we go back on and then we can test it out and see if it works there we go all right go rip that e-brake much nicer oh yeah there we go much better all right got the brake change don't mind the uh, engine light, we're working on that. Let's see what she does. Oh, there we go. That's much better. She stops the car. I wasn't doing that before. That was, uh, and the pedal feels much better. No clunking. Much better. Well, now we can put our center console back together and uh, we're good to go. So that's how you change the emergency brake cable on a 2005 Mazda 6. Um, not too bad of a job. Um, this car has got a lot of miles on it, so consider all things considered, that was pretty pretty easy. Uh, I don't know, probably two hours worth of work, give or take. So, guys, if you like these videos, please like and subscribe below. 
Uh, you can follow along on social media at ACH Automotive. And thanks for watching.